Hey, what's up guys? How's it going? So, you're about to see uh, just a little bit of video that I took yesterday uh, when I was at JB Performance um, <clears throat> over in Baldwin Park installing my uh, improved racing uh, C6 LS2 LS3 crank scraper uh, and oil pan baffle kit um, but just wanted to make a couple of side notes this is not like a tutorial I didn't want to do like a step-by-step -step video for a couple of reasons one is I didn't have the time I wanted to knock this out the same day and it is like a six-hour job uh, second of all um, it's one of those jobs where you need to know what you're doing. It's not super difficult, but it's not one that you want to follow, you know, a video to see what you're doing. This is for more experienced guys, those of you that have, you know, uh, torn into engines and stuff like that, taking things apart. Uh, if you've taken a car completely apart, like a lot of us have, you know, then something like this is not a problem um, but if you're more of a beginner I probably wouldn't tackle this one just yet there is some critical parts to it especially when you're measuring the clearances for the crank scraper because uh, if you don't get that right then your rotating assembly either a rod or a counterweight on the crankshaft will hit it and you're in for a bad time uh, it's also not a job that you want to tackle in your driveway you can if you get the, the car high enough, but um, a lift is much, much better. Highly recommended. Uh, in our case, we removed the, the complete engine cradle to have clear access to, to the block and the oil pan. And you could get away with just lowering the cradle enough, a few inches, um, you know, what, whatever the bolts allow, for you to kind of sneak the oil pan out. but it's much easier without the cradle so that you can check all your clearances uh, much easier and bolt everything up without a problem so that's what we did as you're about to see in the video I highly recommend this kit uh, if you track your car your Corvette um, it, I say it's a must um, any engine benefits from better oil control the crank scraper um, it frees up power just because it scrapes all of that oil, which is weight and resistance from the crankshaft. Um, <clears throat> it also um, helps the oil not to get aerated, right? It gets whipped up by the crankshaft and it gets oil in it, uh, water in it and foams up. So it prevents that from happening. And obviously the trap doors on the baffle kit uh, ensure that your oil pickup tube is never starved from oil and these kits uh, are proven to over 1.4 G's of sustained turns which is it's crazy so if you're tracking your car it's definitely something you want to look into uh, it's under four hundred dollars it's about three hundred eighty dollars and they make it for all kinds of LS engines just hit them up and ask them if you have uh, an LS2 or an LS3 C6 with the stock crankshaft uh, and rods, then the part number for this kit is EGM-216. Uh, if you have different rods and stuff like that, just give them a call. They make scrapers for all kinds of different combinations. And then the the uh, you can buy them separately or as a kit. The pan baffle, um, that one, regardless what's going on the rotating assembly. That one can be bolted on uh, to the uh, uh, the oil pan for it to work. At least that's what I think. Um, I'm not sure if it bolts on to the. It should bolt on also with the stock windage tray if that's what you want to do. But call them and ask them. Those guys are good. They'll help you out. Improve racing is awesome. Uh, every time I've called with a question, um, you know they take care of me. Uh, great guys to talk to and all the stuff they make is great. So I highly recommend this kit. Anyway, enough of me talking um, Here's just a little bit of video that I took so you get an idea What it looks like when it's installed uh, Get an idea of what it takes to install it and then you can decide whether it's something you can tackle yourself or have a shop do it uh, It is about six hours 
um, you know, five to six hours uh, taking my time, lunch break from about 10 a.m. to five uh, to 4 p.m. it took me. Um, can probably do that faster if, if you're just, you know, hauling butt the whole time. But, you know, give yourself a whole day to knock it out. Anyway, here you go. Um, if any questions, leave me a comment. Questions about the kit itself or the install, let me know, and I'll be, uh, I'll try my best to get back to you and help you out. Anyway, take it easy. Check it out. All right, what's up, guys? Here we are. We're getting ready to install the Improved Racing uh, Crank Scraper and Windage Tray. So we have the car up on the rack, and we took the cradle off just to get easier access to the oil pan and the rotating assembly. So I just wanted you guys to take a look to see what it looks like. This is the stock windage tray. So we're going to uh, remove the windage tray, remove the oil pan pickup, and this is what is going to replace it. So, this is gonna bolt up, we're gonna replace that windage tray. This is gonna hug the crankshaft and counterweights a lot closer and scrape, hence scraper, uh, any oil off of the rotating assembly. And so oil on your rotating assembly, uh, it's, it's added weight. And on top of that, it foams up the oil and aerates it. So this will cut down on that. In fact, um, people have seen up to 10 horsepower increase rear wheel just from not having that oil whipping around on the crankshaft. So we're going to get going on that. This is not really a tutorial. I'm just going to show you guys how it looks, um, what it looks like once it's installed so you can uh, have an idea how it works. So, see you guys in a bit. All right guys, so what we're doing, we have it installed with the six bolts. We already checked clearances two times. Now we torqued them down, so now we're doing a final clearance check. And uh, we're doing it according to the specs in the manual by Improved Racing. So you go around making sure that you have the proper clearances everywhere and it's tight. It's two hundredths of an inch, so, or uh, two, two thousandths. That's two hundredths, point zero two, right? Two thousandths would be zero zero two, so two hundredths of an inch. So, there you go. So we're gonna do that, and once we make sure it's all good, then we put in our baffle. All right, here it is, fully installed. We just did the final clearance check, make sure nothing touches and everything's nice and where it should be. And as you see, this is the way it works. So these trap doors along with the pan, as you see there, um, they ensure that under high G turns that this oil pickup is never starved of oil and it does that with these little trap doors so as the car turns one way the oil sloshes the, you know that way and these doors close and it keeps all that oil there so this is always covered so whether you're doing lateral turning or even uh, braking and acceleration so this thing is a bit over $300 for the whole kit, but it's definitely worth it. It gives you awesome oil control. Um, it's fit perfect. We had, it didn't have to clearance nothing. Uh, great instructions. Uh, obviously not a beginner install, but something a shop can easily do or any of you that have the proper experience and tools. So. Uh, we're going to put the oil pan back on, make sure that fits without anything touching, and we'll be good to go. Put the car back together and drive. <laughs> 